bike. Yeah. So the stylus moves up and down on the rubber suspension. But on the other end of that cantilever down inside here, it's that which is moving inside the magnetic field in here mm. that's generating the very small voltages right. that are created inside there. So it's not a moving part in here. Right. That's just coils of wire. Just coils of wire around a magnet. Mm. So it's a moving coil. No, it's not a moving coil, no. no if a moving coil, the coil would be moving. Okay. That's not a moving coil. The coils are fixed. It's a fixed coil. Right, so the coils are fixed in there. What happens is the stylus moves, mm. and on the end of the arm, that stylus cantilever, which you can't see because it's inside this tube, right. the piece on the end of that is moving within the magnetic field. Wow. And that changes the values of the magnetic field and induces a very small voltage in the coils. God, there's some tiny manufacturing there to get this one. Oh, it's very, very tiny. Yeah. Pretty precision stuff, isn't it? Mm. Wow. And the stiffness of that rubber suspension is mm. critical. Mm. There are some copies coming out from foreign countries and people are complaining, saying they're not the same thing. And unfortunately, so, that will be the case. Yeah. You can buy a stylus that will fit, but it won't necessarily comply with the original specification for the shape and, and quality of the diamond tip, yeah. but also the, um, the compliance of the suspension. Yes, compliance. Yeah. Right. The stiffness. So you get high compliance cartridges. High compliance means low stiffness. Low stiffness. Brilliant. It's very compliant. It moves easily. Mm. Yes. High compliance, it moves easily. Great. Yeah. If it's low okay. compliance, it's stiff. Right, right. Beautiful. Typically an old Renette. Right. Uh, your dance got no movement at all. Yes. Well, the arm buzzes like crazy. <laughs> but it gets through anything. Don't know about oh, yeah, dirt well, and yeah, scratches and it, chucks the records. It's just spir mm. spirals of swarf coming off every time you play it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is designed to play it without damaging the record. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful, beautiful. So it's a fixed coil. Yeah, the um, coils are fixed. Yeah. Okay, a moving coil cartridge is very different to an animal mm. altogether. Yeah. In that, mm. the magnets are fixed, the coil is attached to the end of that cantilever. Right. So that and when the stylus moves, the coil moves near to the magnet. Like a microphone, a dynamic microphone, basically. Yeah. yeah. The problem with it is because the coil is fixed to the stylus, most moving coil cartridges, you can't replace the stylus. It has to go back to the manufacturer. Oh, okay. Because the coils are attached to the end of the stylus cantilever. Wow, wow. So it's a manufacturer replacement job. I've never seen one of those, I don't think. Which ones are they? Which well, models are they? All the phones. Autophones. Some of the top autophones oh, really? are moving oh, okay. yeah. I don't think, unless they've started to do them recently, Shaw don't do any. Right. Shaw's are nearly all this stuff, what they call moving magnet. Oh, okay, moving magnet, yeah, that's yeah. the other one. Yeah, all right, beautiful. Right, I'm going to sell these yeah. things and get rid of them. Autophone do uh, VMS, the variable magnetic shunt. Oh, okay, VMS. So, right. yeah. That's an interesting one, do we? We'll have a look at that, oh, maybe. Those. Yeah. But it's, it's, again, it's just moving something in the magnetic field to generate voltage in the coils. Right. The coils are fixed. Yeah, yeah, a transducer. Yeah, yeah. How much you pay for your foreigns, a TD-180? Yeah. I can't remember. They're not, it's not expensive. They're not deck. expensive. It's not a particularly splendid deck. It no. just does what it does well. But it does it without fuss. Yeah. That's it's, amazing. It's fine. Yeah. TD-180. It's nothing special, but it's okay. Right, Look it up, you'll find it. So there we go, we've just measured the old uh, DC resistance between the two pins and a uh, very easy way to do it with a cheap meter uh, set on 2K resistance because it's a high resistance. Uh, what was it, well, Six, 630, quite, quite a high resistance, yeah. Alright.